Hello guys, welcome. Good morning. Another beautiful day out here again in Bali. And today guys, we're doing something really special. Um, my friend who is a local here, he's a Balinese. He's actually being courteous enough to take me to his village. And we're just gonna show you guys the real Balinese way of living, you know. You're gonna prepare uh, a good amount of food Balinese style like real local style and so yeah let's go explore the local village first I'm gonna introduce you to this guy you probably see him on the video a few times before but now here's this official intro this is GD guys first yeah. and official intro GD has been wonderful to me he's been taking me around everywhere the guy is always humble, he's never rushing. He's just, he, he just makes you do whatever you want. And of course, he knows all the fantastic places for you to visit when you come to Bali. I'll put a link below to his Instagram and his Facebook and stuff like that. That way you guys can contact him directly when you're here. But I, I, trust me, I recommend GD 100 million percent. He's that fantastic of a guy. All right, so, we're on the way now to the village and it's just gonna be a whole bunch of local stuff we're gonna be exploring guys it's just gonna be a very interesting vlog because I know a lot of people come to Bali and all they show is the tourist stuff well I'm gonna show you the real stuff all right So we're now at the local market. We're gonna try to buy or source the food that GD's mom is gonna prepare for us in the village, you know? Like the chicken, the fish and beef and stuff. So yeah, let's go. Guys, we found some kingfish. And if y'all know me, I love kingfish. But it seems like they have the kingfish here too. And it looks like it's corned or something like that. But it looks like they have preservatives on this one. That's already fresh. So we're gonna get a little bit from her. Guys, can I just tell you something? I just bought a whole pound of kingfish and it cost me 40,000 rupees. That is literally $3 something. So that's a great place. A pound of kingfish, where I'm from, it's anywhere between six and $10, you know? So I paid, I paid like half the price I usually pay. That's a bonus. You get the vegetable GD, I don't know. Just get what you need. All right guys, so we're back. I can tell we're getting close to the local village because it, it's getting more and more rural. It's pretty visible. But we just made a stop, GD Dearies. This is where we're gonna buy the chicken, I guess. So, I like this so far, you know. We're doing things the real Balinese way. Guys, you see? Just like Jamaica. Real chicken. No fake chicken, thanks to GD. All right, guys, you know YouTube and their policies, so I'm not gonna show you the process of how they butcher the, the chickens that you guys eat every day. But hey, just so you know, all the chicken that you're eating, that's how it's done. They have to butcher and clean the chicken for you to see that end product there, you know? So we're gonna let the guy do his thing, clean them up, then we collect them and go. 
this guy here is selling coconut water but he, he, he's not giving it to you in the coconut just put it in a cup and put ice on it that's what i'm gonna have with my meal today some ice cold refresh oh refreshing coconut water i feel good man supporting these type of people here you know I feel good because you know you're really helping your money really doing something for people you know i mean I might not be super rich or anything like that but I'm pretty sure I'm a little bit more fortunate than some people and if I have to give my money to people to better themselves this is what I would rather do you know what I mean So guys, it's coconut water, a little bit of sweetener, and some lime. I can't, I can't already tell it's gonna taste good because I've never had coconut water like that before. But just the way how he's doing this thing, I know it's gonna taste good. So he's also scraping out like the, the jelly from the inside of the coconut and they put some of that in the cup too, you know? Now guys, just so you know, this lunch stop just happened to be down the street from where the guys actually cleaning the chickens for us. So we decided to stop by and have lunch here today. So guys, the rice that comes with this meal, as you can see, it's, it, it's steamed in the banana leaf. That's, that's what you call real local, man. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this, trust me. And um, this right here is like fresh coconut water with ice and the jelly from the inside of the coconut with also some lemonade just to add that flavor to the coconut water, you know? But it's just different, man, you know? So this is chicken, what do you call satay, this? Satay, chicken satay. Chicken satay. Yeah. So you do the chicken like this? Yeah. And then you take the rice? Yes. Dip it in the soup? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yummy. Mm. It has like a sweet and a tad bit of citrus in it. But I like it because it has a lot of different flavors. And also it's a tad bit spicy. I like spicy. That is a sauce with peanut sauce. So a sweet peanut sauce. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a I guess the citrusy taste that I was tasting, that's the sour. So like he said, it's a citrusy, sweet peanut sauce. All right? Yeah. Oh my God, guys. Lunch was amazing today. That right there is, was fantastic. Like, it's not like eating in Changu or Seminyak where you go and you're not sure if the food is going to taste good. I ate it all. That was amazing. Thanks, GD. All right, guys. So of course, you know, the guy, it's done cleaning the chicken for us now, so we come to pick it up. But I couldn't show you that process because that would be too graphic for YouTube. So all you're gonna see now is the clean chicken and we're gonna take back to GD's village for his mom to prepare a, a nice Balinese dinner for us. We're gonna, today we're gonna have fish, chicken and beef. All right guys, so these are the two chickens that they just prepared. Real fresh chicken. Not like in the city or of Changu or Seminyak where the chicken is on the freezer and all that for a few days before you even eat it. Right here is a fresh, fresh chicken. The guy literally take maybe 10, 15 minutes to butcher the chicken and clean it all up for us. And we just paid um, 110,000 rupees for two huge chickens. That's real organic chicken as you can see in the video yeah man 110,000 rupees for two chicken that's about seven dollars for two real organic chicken you can't beat that Made it to another market we're gonna grab some beef here um, and yeah that will be it because today we're only gonna have GD's mom prepare fish chicken and beef uh, 
Oh, we're out of luck, guys. I'm sorry. They only have pork, no beef. So I guess we're only gonna do fish and chicken today. But that's fine. As long as we get to eat local Balinese food, I'm good. Because GD's mom is gonna prepare the fish fried and some curried. And I'm excited to try their curry fish. Because I cook a lot of curry kingfish back home. So I'm excited to try their curry kingfish. And I guess she's gonna make chicken soup and fried chicken. So we're still gonna have a nice little meal there, you know. What are those, GD? It's offering. Offering, okay. So GD is gonna buy these things here. I guess we're gonna do some offering. type of offering. They call, offering. they call it offering. Um, we're gonna do an offering. I guess that's a way how you bless and give thanks for the food before you eat it, you know. That's why I love Bali, man, because there's so much to learn about their culture and the culture is so interesting or intriguing. Like, you know, you just have to come here to find out what I'm talking about. Like here, the people are so calm. I've never been anywhere in the world where the people are so calm. They're just so calm and their spirit is humble and, you know, here, there are more than one religions, yet there's nobody fighting against each other in terms of religion, you know. I asked GD, why are the people so calm? He told me that it's because Balinese believe in karma. So if you do bad things, bad things is gonna come back to you, which is why everybody here is good and is calm and is humbling and is warm and is welcoming. You know, so I, I would definitely invite anybody that I know to visit Bali. Check out the culture, check out the people, the food, you know what I mean? There are a ton of places here for you to explore out in nature, you know? So yeah, man, I guess we're off to the village now. And like I said, guys, we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of stuff because close to GD's village is where one of the, well, not one of the, the biggest rice terrace is. And that's the rice terrace that President Obama visited when he came here. Um, also, there are um, waterfalls and hot springs and we're gonna visit all of that. Um, we run into some traffic now because school just let out. Look at these guys. <laughs> guys you see that the people even the kids are so happy and friendly and warm you know like i just it's just like man come on man you people on the western side of the world y'all better come over here like come check this place out but like i was saying i want to thank gd very much for this experience because i'm a very funny guy and i don't usually like just let go into people like that that easily but my spirit just sits so well with GD and I know he's a great person and we're building a not just a friendship but also a working relationship because there's also business opportunities here guys you know it's just he's just a blessing to me and my trip to Bali wow we really got getting rural now GD Once you enter these villages, you have to pay 40,000 rupiah. Um, that's not really to enter the village, it's just to go view the rice fields and the waterfalls and just any yeah, type of so tourist good. activity you want to do in and around the village area. We arrived here. This is your house? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're at GD's house, mom's house now. <laughs> yeah guys, so we finally made it. It seems like it would have been about an hour ride, but because we stopped and did get the food stuff, took us a little bit over an hour. But like coming up here, I can feel the pressure in my ear and I can tell we're high. Cause look, we're very high. Like we came to the mountainous area or something. Cause look, we're very high as you can see in the background. So we're central Bali, but north. Yeah. Cause we're very, very elevated right now i can feel the pressure in my ear 
But yeah, I'm excited now to go see GD's local living and need his mom and his mom is gonna cook for us and stuff like that, you know? Once again, it's another blessing. Hello. Hello. This is your mom, GD. Yeah. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Very pleasure. I heard a lot about you. <laughs> GD, you look like your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just... So, mom, you're going to cook for us today? I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she cannot speak English. Okay. Yeah, just so, tell her things. GD, tell her. Yeah. Tell her that I want to thank her for inviting me here. Yeah. And being so receptive of me here. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah. So GD will have to be my translator, guys, because his mom is not that good with the English, okay? Wow. Yeah. This is beautiful, GD. Yeah. This, this uh, is your family house? Your yeah, mom my house? house. Yeah. Your house? Yeah. Wow, so guys. Stay here. So guys, this is GD's house. This is where I'm staying tonight. Oh my God. This is, oh my God, GD, this is a blessing. I never thought I'll have an experience like this in lifetime. This is a blessing. So you will uh, room here, you can. But uh, it's not good room. But uh, I think GD, uh, I stay here. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. More than good for me. Yeah. This is gonna be. This is gonna be home tonight, guys. Right here. More than good, GD. I'm. I'll be comfortable right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. yeah, this is beautiful though, GD. Like, how do they make this? It's uh, all by handmade, all handmade, yeah. It must take slow, long, slow. yeah, yeah. Long. Wow, it's uh, makes uh, with the knife, yeah. You put slowly, slowly, and then coloring also make yeah. this. This is a this is a work of art. This is like art, artist, yeah. very appealing to the eye, yeah. You know, I've never seen nothing like this in real life, yeah so close you know yeah man oh check the detail guys yeah. wow this is yeah. crazy i can't believe i'm living this man yeah. i never planned this guys by the way this just happened because i met this nice guy and everything is just working you know it's a blessing thank god for this thank god for allowing me to be fortunate enough where i can travel and get these experiences because i know a lot of people really don't get these experiences in a lifetime so once again it's a blessing and i'm very grateful all right guys so this one building in the yard this here this is specifically designed to store rice so after the rice is picked and dried they store it here and then take it to processing so as soon as that empties out then more rice is reaped and stored in there again but in this village every yard has a rice house like that you know Guys, pardon me by the way, but the lighting is very poor, so I'm now shooting on my iPhone. As it's a blessing, man. I'm just watching the process and waiting to eat. Yeah, as of now, I'm just gonna stick to the iPhone. It's way better, way better lighting. Guys, you thought I was kidding? I told y'all I was coming to eat in a local Balinese village. And this is real Bali food right here. And they are doing everything right in front of me. Mom is so welcoming. GD is so welcoming. Everything is fantastic, guys. So we're going to eat a lot of stuff. We're going to eat chicken soup, fish soup, fried fish, curry fish. We're doing it all, man. Real local Bali style. All right, guys. So as you can see, the food is done. Lo local Balinese village, locally cooked Balinese style food. 
and we're gonna eat now give god thanks for this like i said we have um chicken and young papaya soup curried fish veggies chicken and turmeric sambal mata, sambal, mata. mata. chicken and spicy sauce and the fried fish and of course some red rice here all right so i'm gonna share my food now guys so I got my food here I'm gonna try the soup first guys very good just the right amount of spice a little citrusy as well but it's very good and what I like it's very flavorful and I didn't see her put a lot of salt and a whole bunch of powder seasoning but it's still very very flavorful Here's a quick fun fact about the Balinese people, just so you know. Now guys, as you're witnessing on the screen right now, the local way for the Balinese to eat their meal is by using their Bye. bare hands. <laughs> guys, the spicy, the chicken in the spicy sauce is very good. The chicken and the turmeric, it has a distinct taste that I really cannot handle. But it's a Balinese thing. And hey, even the vegetable is good. And for all those who've never had red rice, you have to try it because it has a different flavor as well. And for me, due to the fact that this rice is grown right here, it makes the experience even better. Guys, this is so good. I'm in heaven right now. Y'all don't even know. Everything tastes wonderful so far, except for the chicken and turmeric. I think it has something in it that I really, that is just not my taste, you know? But everything else is fantastic. And I'm gonna eat guys and I'm tired of having this camera and light in my face. I wanna just enjoy my local Balinese meal in peace, all right? I just got done eating and everything was fantastic besides the chicken and turmeric. It, it had a distinct ingredient in it that my taste bud does not do well with. But my favorite was that soup. I've never had a chicken soup that has green papaya in it, but I don't know. It's very tasty and it has a slight hint of citrus in it as well. Also, the red rice is pretty new to me, but I like the taste of the red rice. I'm gonna probably start eating that back home. Um, yeah, man, but all in all, it was a well-prepared meal, very tasty. Thanks again to GD for inviting me to his home and eating local Balinese food. And yeah, it was a blessing, I enjoyed it. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um live free dream big travel modishly see you guys on the next vlog